Okay, let me tell you about software testing lifecycle. STLC stands for Software Testing Lifecycle. STLC is a series of activities performed during the testing process to ensure that software products are tested comprehensively and effectively. So the STLC involves six phases. These are requirement analysis, test planning, test case creation, test environment setup, test execution, and finally, test cycle closure. Now, let's talk about all these phases one by one in details. So, the first phase is requirement analysis for software testing lifecycle. In this phase, the requirements are analyzed to determine what needs to be tested. The testing team will review the requirements document and identify any ambiguities or inconsistencies that could impact testing. And the second phase is test planning phase. In this phase, the testing team creates a test plan that outlines the testing strategy, objectives, and scope of the testing. The plan also identifies the resources needed, including personnel, tools, and equipment. The third phase of software testing lifecycle is test case creation. Test cases are created in this phase based on the requirements and the test plan. The test cases outline the steps to be followed during testing and expected results for each test case. The fourth phase for software testing lifecycle is the test environment setup. A test environment is created in this phase to ensure that testing can be conducted under the required conditions. So this includes setting up hardware, software, and other infra infrastructure necessary for testing. The fifth phase for software testing lifecycle is the test execution phase. So in this phase, the actual testing is performed based on the test cases. The testing team executes the test cases, records the results and reports and defects found. The uh, sixth and final phase of software testing lifecycle is test cycle closure. In this phase, the testing team compiles the test results and generates a report that summarizes the testing process, including any issues found and their resol resolution status. The report is shared with relevant stakeholders and also the testing team evaluates the testing process and assesses the effectiveness of the testing. They also identify areas for improvement, improvement and document any lessons learned. So, I can say that the STLC is an iterative process and the testing team may need to revisit earlier phases if issues are found during testing. By following the STLC, software products can be tested thoroughly and efficiently, ensuring that they meet the required quality standards. Thank you so much for listening.